Let me tell you about the amazing story of a Catholic uh, patron saint called Dymphna. Now, it doesn't matter if you don't believe in patron saints or Catholics. Um, even some very prominent atheists say, look, why don't we borrow some um, good ideas from religion? So, look, come along with an open mind. And look, if you are Catholic, I'm not going to speak about this with the same reverence that the Pope would, but I do speak about it with some nostalgic affection. I used to be an altar boy at this church, St Anthony's, and St Anthony was the patron saint of lost things. And I had a lot of success praying to that saint, patron saint. And so that's what gets me excited about speaking about Diffner. Here's Diffner's story. She was a young 14-year-old girl living in Ireland and um, uh, her dad was very wealthy um, um, but unfortunately, at the age of 14, her mum died. Um, terrible stuff. Dad was um, uh, pretty distraught in his grief, but he had money, so he could send people all over the country to see if he could find someone as beautiful and as lovely and as kind as his wife, dearly departed. Um, they couldn't find anybody. In fact, they came back and said to Damon, uh, look, the closest we can find to anybody as beautiful and lovely and as kind as your ex-wife is your gorgeous daughter, Diffner. So Diffner's dad, quite maddened by grief, said, um, well, Diffner, why don't we get married? And she was like, oh, totes, no way, Dad. Like, are you, like, kidding me? And he said, no, 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 I'm maddened by grief. I think we should get married. And she went, oh... M G, and she got some advice from a friend, and a friend suggested, "Why don't you pop down to the local church to see Father Jerry Burnus, who's a good bloke, a bit of a priest, and he might be able to help you out of this pickle." Um, Lord Father Jerry Burnus, he thought things aren't looking good here, and so he said, "Flee with me, my child." And this is a snapshot of them fleeing Ireland. And you can see over um, on the left-hand side of the picture, you can catch a glimpse of Diffner's dad there, and he's got those crazy eyes and a beard and a knife. Um, and uh, that's him who's uh, really lost his act um, in the intensity of his grief for his wife. So Father Gerobernus and uh, Diffner, they head off to... Um, get out of Ireland and they um, follow their Google Maps and find their way to Gill in Belgium. Nice little town apparently. And, um, and that's really cool when they get to Gill and everybody's really um, got a lot of admiration for Diffner because even though she's a young girl, they can see that she's quite a knowledgeable girl as represented here by the book. And even more intensely than that, even though she's such a young girl, she was able to help those people who were really struggling with their demons, people who were struggling with their own mental illness, come to terms with it. And you can see there at her feet a little picture of a demon and she's holding the sword that's keeping that demon under control. So Diffina was actually a bit of a hit in Gill. They thought she was um, a bit of an asset to the town. However, the good times didn't last all that long and word got back to Diffina's dad that um, that her and Gerobernus were there and so he found his way over there and while uh, Father Gerobernus was praying in church he um, got one of his men to chop off his head and uh, so he kind of died and then uh, Diffner's dad went to her, found, tracked her down and said uh, look Diffner, this thing about the marriage um, it's going to have to happen and she went, totes no way dad, I'd rather die and he said yeah no worries I can help that happen and he chopped off her head so uh, not a particularly uh, happy ending there, except for when we think about um, how they've lived on. And uh, Father uh, Gerobernus is, was made a patron saint, and he's the patron against fever and against gout, which, um, which is good. Like, that, that's good. That's more that's, than... That's good. Um, Diffner, though, got uh, also made a patron saint for her martyrdom and the miracle of comforting... Uh, those people who are experiencing mental health problems. Um, she got really quite a broad portfolio, which uh, covers everything from sleepwalking to um, uh, epilepsy um, to martyrs and loss of parents, parents, runaways, sleepwalkers. And I guess the reason I'm interested is that she's also, also the patron saint of mental health nurses, all mental health professionals, but uh, I'm a mental health nurse, so that's the um, bit that I was really interested in, is that we've got our own patron saint. Fantastic. So, so do our clients. They, we share the same patron saint, and there's something kind of nice about that. Um, anyway, May 15 is the uh, feast day for um, 
uh, Diffner, and um, it's celebrated every year on that date. Um, but apart from that one day of the year, something else kind of cool is going on with the whole Diffner story. This is um, the website for the psychiatric service in Gill, and you can see there that they've got services specifically for adults and older people and younger people and a rehab stream. But they've all got, also got something quite unique, um, the foster family care thing. And over 500 people are um, living with families... Uh, over 500 people with serious mental health problems are living with families and to get as normal a life as possible. And, um, and these guys in Gill have got a, a cathedral there to Diffner. They kind of take her heritage um, really to heart. And this is probably a nice outcome from the story, is that Diffner and her healing ways, her comforting ways for people with serious mental illnesses lives on. So uh, that's pretty much the story. Nobody's born knowing this stuff. These are the websites where I got all the information from and I hope you enjoyed hearing the amazing story of a Catholic patron saint called Diffner. Thank you for watching.